Hey guys, it's Steve. Welcome back to another Grill Dome cooking video. So today I'm going to show you how to make some cherry bourbon baby back ribs. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and get started on our cherry bourbon barbecue sauce here. This is a sweet and tangy sauce that is excellent with both pork and poultry. So I'll have the ingredients up on the screen here, but we've got some tart cherry, some brown sugar, some apple cider vinegar, a little bit of water, got some honey bourbon, some molasses, some ketchup, and then for our spices, we've got some dry mustard, a pinch of cloves, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and some salt and pepper. So we're just gonna pour all that in. And then all we're gonna do here is we're gonna bring our sauce up to a simmer and cook over a low heat for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then we're gonna put it in a, a food processor or a blender just to kind of blend the cherries up. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through our setup on our dome out here. So uh, using the Grill Dome Rapid Light, it only took about seven minutes to get a nice raging hot pile of coals there. We're going to go ahead and remove this. Be careful. It's extremely hot. Then I've got a couple nice chunks of peach wood. I'm just going to throw on top of the coals for a little smoke flavor. We don't want to go too crazy uh, with the smoke since we're just doing one rack of ribs here. Then we're going to install the indirect cooking rack with one of the ceramic stones on top of it. So that's providing our indirect setup. Then we're going to install the main cooking rack. Now you could go ahead and just uh, cook your ribs directly on the main cooking rack. But what I like to do is if you have one of the grill dome extender racks, I like to cook the ribs up top on this rack because it just gets them a little bit further away from the heat source below. So what we're going to do is we're going to be cooking between uh, 250 and 275 today. So we're going to go ahead and shut the lid, let the dome get up to temp and stabilize, and then we'll toss our ribs on. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get our rack of ribs pressed here. So we're going to go ahead and get our rack of ribs prepped here. Uh, this is just a nice little rack of uh, loin backs or baby backs. What I like to do is just use a little bit of olive oil for a binder for our dry rub. Okay, and today I'm going to be using some of the competition uh, dry rub from Ledyard Barbecue Company. These, these folks are fellow uh, Grill Dome owners. They've got some great rubs and sauces in their shop, so I will uh, provide a link in the video description. Okay, so with this recipe, you don't want to go too crazy with the rub because you really want to focus on the flavor of the cherry bourbon sauce. So we're just going to take some of this competition dry rub and Give it a little sprinkle on the top just like this and then just take a little bit more and get that all nice and rubbed in and that's all you got to do and these are ready for the grill dome all right we've got the dome stabilized out at 250 got some nice smoke coming up now we're just going to set this rack right in the center of our extender rack right here that looks perfect and the Great thing about the grill dome is we're just gonna shut this lid and I'm not even gonna check on it for three hours. And right around then it's probably when we'll start giving these a little of the uh, glaze from the uh, bourbon honey barbecue sauce. So we'll pick back up in a few hours. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. You can see our sauce is thickened up. And so this is the consistency we're looking for. Those uh, cherries have started to break down and we're gonna go ahead and move all this to a blender and get this nice and blended up. All right, now we're just gonna blend this up. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and put it in a bowl and look how amazing that looks. Wish you guys could smell this, just the sweet and tartness from those cherries and the bourbon coming off of that, that just looks perfect. It's gonna go so well with these ribs. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and let this cool down. I'm gonna sit it in the fridge so it can continue to, to thicken up. And then uh, we'll be glazing our ribs on it in a few hours. All right guys, it has been about three hours and 15 minutes. <clears throat> I just checked these a couple minutes ago. 
And uh, let me go ahead and show you just kind of with the uh, toothpick test. You can see the toothpick is just sliding nicely through the meat there. So these are just about done, probably about 30 more minutes or so. Um, the uh, I ended up running the dome closer to about uh, 300 degrees, between 275 and 300 because I was a little bit short on time. So typically I go about four and a half hours on my baby backs, but this is going to be closer to about about three hours and 45 minutes to, to four hours. So we're just going to go ahead and get these nice and sauced up with our cherry bourbon barbecue sauce here. This stuff just looks and smells amazing. We're going to let this get nice and caramelized. And then um, we'll pick back up in the kitchen when these are all done. I'll go ahead and cut them up and we'll take a look. All right, guys, so our total cook time was right at four hours. I went ahead and um, sliced a few of these ribs up. You can see how awesome these came out with this uh, cherry bourbon barbecue uh, sauce on top. Just nice and caramelized now after it sat on for about 45 minutes. And um, you can see the nice color there, a little bit of the smoke green on the top and bottom. Go ahead and take a bite. Mm. Man, you can see how just nicely the meat just pulled straight off of the bone right there. So tender, so much flavor with that sauce. Definitely try this sauce out. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Um, uh, pretty straightforward cook and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, give us a like on our uh, Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you again soon.